Let's play a game of number scramble. We will take turns choosing a number 1 through 9 that has not previously been taken. The first person to have exactly three numbers add up to 15 is the winner. Thus, 7 and 8 are not winning numbers because those are just 2. You need 3. Likewise, 1, 3, 5, and 6 are not winning numbers because those are 4. You need to have exactly 3 sum to 15 to win this game. If all 9 numbers have been selected, but no player has exactly 3 numbers that add to 15, the game is a draw. For example, if you went first and took a 3, and then I went second and took 9, and you followed by taking 5, well, you have 3 and 5, which sums to 8, which means I must take 7 on my turn to prevent you from winning on the next turn. Do you see what you should do from here? If you take the 4, then you have 3 and 4, which sums to 7, which means I would have to take 8 to prevent you from winning on your next turn. But then again, you also have 4 and 5, which sums to 9. Add 6 to that, and you get 15. So by choosing 4 on your previous turn, you've actually forced yourself into a position where there is nothing I can do. You are guaranteed to win from there. From here, normally your puzzle would be to think about how to optimally play this game. But not today. Instead, I want you to think about what game we're actually playing. It turns out, this is just a simple game in disguise. And in fact, it's a game that I'm almost certain you're intimately familiar with. So what game is it? While you think about that, check out some of these cool books that I've written. Your hint for today is to think about simple games that you've played before that somehow involve nine different moves available to you. Are you ready for the solution? Here's a deeper hint. Don't think of the game like this. Think of the game like this. This is very clearly a tic-tac-toe board. And indeed, all we're doing in this game is playing tic-tac-toe. Do you see why? Imagine that we plotted the numbers like this. This formation is a magic square. Maybe you've seen these before as a kid as well. All of the rows sum to 15. All of the columns sum to 15. And both of the diagonals sum to 15. Remember that the goal for this game is to get three numbers, exactly three numbers, to equal 15. It turns out that this is the only way to construct such a magic square. You can rotate it, you can flip it like a mirror, but it's all functionally the same magic square. And this magic square includes every single way you can have three numbers sum to 15. As a result, you're basically just playing tic-tac-toe. For example, this is the game that we just played. You began with 3, I then chose 9, you went with 5, forcing me to go 7, you saw a force play with 4, which made me take 8, but then allowed you to win with the 6 in the bottom right corner. And now that you recognize that this is tic-tac-toe, you know how to play. And if two players are playing optimally, then the game will end in a draw. 
Fortunately, this connection is not obvious to someone who hasn't seen this before. So you can hand someone a card that has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all written in order, and have them play off of that while you're playing off the actual tic-tac-toe board. And you can go many iterations, often winning, sometimes at least forcing the draw, before your opponent will actually catch on that anything is happening here. You might wonder whether you can extend this game to something a little more complicated. Perhaps have 16 numbers available instead of just 9, and now have the race be to collect 4 numbers total that sum to exactly 34. And yeah, you could do this. Unfortunately, there's no simple way to cheat like there is when we have only 9 numbers. That's because the number of unique 3x3 magic squares, as I mentioned earlier, is exactly 1. 4x4 magic squares are a different story. There are 880 of them. So I cannot give you a simple template on how to play that game. In some ways, it's a little more fair. And maybe you'll be able to play it a lot longer. Did you figure this one out? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take care.